Hi everyone. So the CV which you can see on my screen is ATS friendly. Many a times company don't go one by one to your CV. They simply use application tracking system which is nothing but ATS to scan your CV within few seconds whether you will be get selected or not for the next round so it is very very crucial for you to make a ATS friendly CV now you can use this template but most of the people use word doc or google doc to make their CV but most of the time the biggest challenge is they are not in proper indentation sometimes the text are roaming here there so i am suggesting you to use overleaf now you may ask what overleaf is but you need not to worry you don't need to do any mastery in this you have your chat gpt you have you have your chat uh, gemini you have black box ai and many many ai tools which you can use to generate your codes one code i will be giving you but if you just give the chat gpt this prompt that this is my code now go to education section and make this thing tabular in the tabular format by the way maybe after this video in the next video i will show how you can make this education sec uh, section in tabular format too so firstly i am taking a new tab and i am going to overleaf so overleaf is a website now you have to click on sign up and i am continuing with my google account so there are premium versions too so i have clicked on skip 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 uh, skip maybe later then i am clicking on create new project blank project project name cv one maybe create okay now this i have deleted you can always recompile it so now this is my github link which i am using so i will be giving this github link in the description also so as you can see there is a cv1 latex code it is in doc format i have clicked on view raw the file is downloaded i have to do nothing but simply control a control c and i am again going back on my overleaf control v and just press recompile okay now what you can do is by the way this percentage signs are for comment you can do the comment and if you just click on here so it will redirect you where the code is written so it becomes very handy so let's say my name is md mohammad sarfaraz okay just recompile you can see the changes here here you have to put in your linkedin profile for example let's say sarfaraz so whenever you will click on this link you will be redirected to my profile okay okay it has opened someone else profile but once you will put your uh, link then it will direct redirect you to your own linkedin account this is what you want to show right now i have put small l let's say i am writing link then link will be shown here okay here you can put in your email address then linkedin let me write it complete you can put in your phone number here you can write your university name or maybe college name let's say for in my case delhi school 
of economics. Then my city, my country, maybe New Delhi, India. My degree was MA Economics, maybe June 2024 or June 2022 to July 2024 and click on recompile see how beautifully things are looking now in the similar fashion you can do all this now let me click here so here if you see now i want after visual there should not be any word so what i will do after visual i will simply do two backslash so it will break it will break and it will go to the next line i don't know why it is showing red but uh, it does not matter something wrong perhaps missing item no it is correct you can simply select uh, let's say i am selecting this if i i am pressing control b then automatically you can either write or you can directly uh, press control b then it has got bold there is also something called visual editor so here you can you don't even need to remember the codes you can directly write just like in english and it will get changed here let's check that under the project so this is project title one let me change it mm, let's say i want to write python python project python project although it's not a good name maybe some some project some project and tools which i have used here is python now it looks more logical let me recompile it now as you can see even i can do python after python i have used numpy those libraries numpy pandas matplot see you can use comma also so likewise you have to do you can add different different sections also and if you are a fresher then try to make your cv within one page few people add their summary also on top of it so you can do whatever is your need and at any point if you feel anything is not going right or if you find any error then you can simply copy paste this code in chat gpt and give give it the prompt that hey here i am facing the problem now suggest me the correction then chat gpt is one of the greatest invention at this point of time that it can do your works in seconds